This is part four of the Apple Watch Ultra Band series, so you know exactly what that means. After you're done watching this video, you gotta go back and binge the previous three videos because there's some dope bands in those as well. Now this Apple Watch Ultra series has gained almost a half a million views so far, so it's only right we keep it going into the new year. I also polled the community on YouTube to see what I should be working on going forward, and you guys all picked, well not all, 29% of the votes picked Apple Watch Ultra Band, so you guys like it as well. Now I've been living with the Apple Watch Ultra for the past four months, and I've gone through my fair share of bands, some good, some meh, you know. But today I have a few bands that I think you'll like, and a couple that are actually suggested by you guys. <laughs> First up, we have the Save Your Survival Paracord Band. Now, I did cover this band, uh, I think in the first video, first or second video, I covered this band, but this one has a small caveat. If you guys watched the other video, you'll know that I didn't like the clasp system, system on the uh, survival, Save Your Survival Band, it's a mouthful. But this one has a leather strap, so it's like a traditional leather strap, and it's way easier to take on and off versus that, you know, really secure, but really cumbersome screw on locking clasp mechanism. And you still get the paracord design on both sides of the watch, but just on the bottom, you know, bottom of your wrist is leather. And it's a nice quality leather too. It looks like it's gonna wear nicely over time and break in and get a little bit looser. Right now it's a little stiff, but that's to be expected with new leather. But yeah, that was my biggest issue with the last paracord band was the, the clasp. And this solves that and makes it Pretty fashionable. I, think, I like the additional leather. Breaks it up a bit. It's not paracord all the way around. It's easier when you set your wrist on a table so it doesn't feel like super thick because you know it's just a regular strap. So I think this is pretty cool. It's a dope design. I like the addition of the leather and it solves that issue I had with the previous paracord band. This, I'm probably going to butcher the name, but I think it's the Odd B, Odd Bay rugged military tactical strap. Now this is a wild card band that I decided to get because it just had a unique design and you know, look kind of cool. After using so many bands, I've started to realize that I'm not a huge fan of the extra wide bands. This one's pretty wide. If the thickness of the band is competing with the thickness of the watch, it starts to throw me off a little bit. Now this is a solid band though, if you like the thickness of, you know, and the tactical design. I don't think it offers any real practical benefits with the cabling that's on the side of the band, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. Now this is the Amazon Special Alpine Loop in black. Now this one is the band that I've been using the most over the past couple weeks of testing. The band that I actually bought my Apple Watch Ultra with was actually the Alpine Loop in green. And don't get me wrong, I love green, it's my favorite color. It just doesn't go with everything. And I actually saw Technically T wear this band in the video and I had to get it immediately. Now every black Alpine Loop band on Amazon is not made equal. I actually bought a different one before getting this one. And the material was not stretchy, it was not comfortable, it was not soft. Uh, so make sure if you do want to get the black Alpine Loop, you use my link down below in the description. This one is much better quality than the previous one I bought on Amazon. The band is soft, has metal furniture, the clasp and the connectors are all metal. If you're wondering how it compares to the first party Alpine Loop band, I'd say that the first party Alpine Loop band still feels to be a bit more durable and higher quality. Apart from that, I mean, Unless you're really gonna be out there hiking and doing some crazy stuff and you're worried about the strap coming loose or something like that, uh, go with the first party one. But if you just want a black Alpine Loop band because Apple doesn't offer one, get this one. This is the Tefeka Fortitude. And this band was actually recommended by a lot of you guys down below in the comments in previous watch band videos. Well, not this particular design or model, but the brand was highly recommended by all of you guys. And after using it for a few days, I will say, the band is soft and high quality, but I'm really just not a fan of the design overall and the plastic connectors. I think every band that I buy going forward is gonna have to have metal furniture because it feels wrong connecting plastic to this Apple Watch Ultra. But I'm pretty sure Tefeka has other band options out there. I'll look for some more in the future to see if there's any other models that I like. I just feel like this one's probably slightly too thick and I wish it had metal connectors. This is another Amazon special, uh, Amazon rendition of the first party trail loop. This is a three pack actually. And the first party trail loop is one band that I've been looking at getting for a while, but I just can't force myself to spend that much money on one singular band. So I sifted through dozens of Amazon listings and settled on this three pack because of the metal furniture and the variety of color options. Once again, these bands are soft and high quality and they're metal. So anything metal I'm down with, I'm over the plastic connectors. The only thing I would say that I would change about these bands is the length of them. Now don't get me wrong, they fit, but I would be happy with a little extra. I also haven't used the first party trail loop, so I can't really comment or compare the differences between the two but there is way little risk or little to no risk in trying to get these bands considering the low cost. Um, 
just try them out, see if you like them. They offer some pretty cool colors. Uh, I like the orange one the most, and the black and blue one is kind of cool too. But yeah, uh, the all black one's cool. They're all cool colors. They're all like, you know, renditions of the first party version, but you don't have to pay that much to get them. So you get three of them, you know, for a fraction of the cost of one Apple Watch first party band. So try it out. And honorable mention, I got these Solo Loop Amazon bands and I instantly regretted getting them. Not because, you know, the quality of the bands or anything. They're actually pretty good quality. They fit and they're stretchy and they're soft. Uh, they just don't look good on the Ultra um, because they're just too skinny um, to be taken seriously. I think they need to be a little bit thicker to, to work with the Ultra. Uh, of course, the connectors fit and everything, but the width of the band, it just looks kind of comical in my opinion. Uh, but if I'm able to get my hands on a slightly thicker, not too thick, <laughs> Solo Loop Amazon special, I'll do another video going over that, but I'm still on the hunt for a good Solo Loop. Uh, but if you don't have an Ultra and you want to use this Solo Loop on, you know, your Series 7, your Series 8, your regular Apple Watch, I think it'll fit perfectly fine. Uh, it'll look good. And like I said, they're soft and stretchy. They're good quality. They fit me. I have big wrists. So if you have big wrists and you have a non ultra watch and you, or you're just not concerned about it looking too skinny, go for it. But for me, they look kind of weird on an ultra. Now, hopefully one or more of these bands look cool enough to you guys for you to try them out. And if you do want to check out any of the bands that I featured in this video, feel free to check the description for the Amazon affiliate links. As with all the other parts of this video series, this video isn't sponsored and I just went out and bought these bands with my own money to share my experience with you guys and hopefully share some pretty cool bands because I know it's hard finding a good band and not paying an arm and a leg for, you know, the Apple one. It's hard to sift through all these ridiculous listings on Amazon for Apple Watch bands because they're all either like repurposed and they just put 49 millimeter in there and it's really not 49. It's not really compatible with the Apple Watch Ultra. Or there's a little gap. Um, the quality is questionable in most cases. There's like duplicates of every single type of band. For instance, the Black Alpine Loop. Like there's so many different Black Alpine Loops out there, but a lot of them are trash. <laughs> and the one that I showed in this video, this is the one you gotta get. If you wanna get a Black Alpine Loop, get that one for sure. Now granted, I do think I'm gonna be returning the Tactical and the Tefeka band simply because the thickness is just too much for me to you know keep into my rotation but i'll keep all the other ones in my rotation with the exception of the solo loop i'm really impressed with this paracord band it's really dope the black alpine loop is a staple for me now that's probably going to be one of my go-to's even over the Spigen uh band that i had that i featured in the first video the alpine loop is probably going to be my go-to to be honest with you because it's thick enough it's stretchy it's soft um it, it's black and matches with everything i really like this paracord one i've been rocking this one for the past week as well i like the the durability of it it feels good i know the leather is going to look amazing with a really good patina when it breaks in um and the trail loop bands are just fun you know something to swap through they were really inexpensive so i'll keep those as well but if you guys liked any of the bands in this video let me know which one you like the most down below in the comments uh and yeah it's been a pleasure as usual guys thank you for watching until next time stay fresh peace